welcome to science land i am nikita today we are going to talk about parasitic diseases so this is an introduction to the upcoming specific parasitic diseases so let's begin so starting with parasitic diseases the word parasitic meaning it involves two major types of organism protozoan organisms helmint organisms which are worms actually so the difference between protozoan and helmint is that protozoa are unicellular eukaryotes okay helminths are multicellular organism protozoans require a host for at least a part of their life cycle to reproduce to multiply helminth on the other hand can reproduce can multiply outside the host cells so there is no imperative requirement of host also the basic visual differences these are since unicellular so microscopic these are large as compared to protozoans there are many examples of parasitic diseases uh, the most common is malaria african sleeping sickness leishmaniasis toxoplasmosis and chagas disease all of which will be elaborated in depth differently so the parasitic diseases becomes a global burden when compared to other types of diseases like fungal viral bacterial parasitic diseases spread due to some causes the first one is sewage contaminated water wherein the drinking water is contaminated with sewage and you get the infection or else vectors now what are vectors vectors are like they are mediators between protozoa and the human vector provides a micro environment which is necessary for the life cycle of the protozoa so this vector is also one of the reason why it is becoming such a huge global problem now whenever there is a disease it evokes immune response right so against parasitic diseases what is the mechanism of immunity that can be studied using experimental systems now usually mouse model is used and you have different types of immune response based on types and how effective that immune response is so two main factors affect the immune response one what is the location of the parasite in the human body and what is the life cycle of the parasite for example plasmodium first it is free in the body meaning moving freely in the blood wherein the humoral immunity can come into picture then it is going to hepatocytes and the location changes to intracellular right and at that point of time cellular mediated immunity comes into picture life cycle the entire reproduction cycle of the parasite has to be studied for effective immune response these are the two main things to consider while studying immune response what is the treatment of these parasitic diseases the very first thing is drugs but drugs always have clause of multi drug resistance coming into picture newer drugs also take a lot of time to develop the second is vaccines development of vaccine also requires to study two main things one is the life cycle of the parasite as to on what stage you can actually aim the vaccine and the second is branch of immunity which gives protection to an individual so this is the introduction of parasitic diseases thank you so much for watching do subscribe to my channel bye bye